Hi there, Christy Lester here. Just wanted to share with you a couple of tips that have helped me out. Today we're going to go through the process of setting up your own personal email at your domain name. To start off, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our back office, which is basically for me, it's the C panel. So it's www.christylester.com forward slash C panel. We're going to then need to put in our username and password, which I'd actually done a little earlier today, so it's taken me straight in. Now, to add an email account, you need to scroll down on the HostGator or the cPanel uh, website that we're showing here on our screen to where it says Mail. You want to click on where it says Email Accounts. Hope it's not going too fast for you and you want to type in a new email account. Now currently we've got Christy at christylester.com which you can see just down the bottom but for this tutorial purpose we're going to have admin at christylester.com we're going to put in a password um, I suggest letters and numbers uh, it's up to you whatever works best It's always really, really hard to um, to basically get a, the password strength. So you've got a couple of options. You can click on Generate Password, and it will bring up a couple of options for you on your screen, and you can use that password, or you can choose a password of your own. Now, don't forget this password because you're going to need it. So the password I'm using. Um, is something that I'm actually going to go through and delete at a later point in time so the strength is not overly important here but for your own personal email it's extremely important okay I'll just reconfirm that password and I'm going to click create now the mailbox quota here defaults to 250 megabyte that's fine to leave it at that so now I'll click on create and it's going to go through the process and it's going to ask me do I want to configure the account to work with a mail client for example I use Outlook and I'm going to click yes there's a couple of things you can do you can choose the mail client that you use if it's in the list above as you can see on my screen or down the bottom you've got the manual uh, the manual settings now if you want to put the manual settings in because your exact version of Outlook isn't listed above I'm going to take you through that process too because uh, for for myself I actually had this problem so I needed to manually set up my Outlook Express so now that we've created our email address so it's admin at christylester.com as you can see it just here we're going to go through to our Outlook and we're going to configure a new email address okay if we click on mail now we're back on the main screen if you click on tools go down to account settings and on the main screen under email click new you want it to be a Microsoft Exchange pop 3 server click on next and type your name so for me it's Christy Lester the email address is admin at Christy lester.com oops excuse the spelling mistakes and the password as you just chose in the cPanel background now because it's not a normal default email address and we're dragging it through from cPanel we will need to configure this account manually so click on manually configure server settings and click on next it's internet email click on next okay we've got Christy Lester we've got our email address it's a pop 3 now for myself the manual settings were mail dot Christy Lester dot com and also that's for incoming mail server and the outgoing mail server is mail dot oh now I'm doing it really bad dot Christy Lester dot com the username is admin 
plus Christy Lester dot com and the password is the same password that you set up in your cPanel back office now we need to go and click on more settings under general information we've got admin at christylester.com that's great under account uh, under outgoing server we need to click on my outgoing server and use same as the incoming mail server the connection local area that's fine and advance that's fine too once you click on OK, you should be able to click Test Account Settings and your email should be up and running. Let's just see how we've gone with that process. Log on complete and sending the test email message is in progress. Will we have any luck? Yes, send test message is complete. I hope that you found this uh, tutorial informative and hopefully it's very useful. It's helped me uh, set up a couple of my own personal blogs with email accounts. If you have any question, further questions, you can contact me on christy at christylester.com and send me through an email or I'm on Facebook and Twitter. Feel free to contact and connect up with me. I look forward to talking to you. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.